Welcome back to Water Watch, your source for updates on reservoir levels, drought conditions, and snowpack across the western United States. In today's video, we're focusing on Lake Powell and Lake Mead, along with a look at the Great Salt Lake, snowpack conditions, and the broader drought outlook across the region. Let's start with Lake Mead, the largest reservoir in the country and a key water source for millions across the southwest. Lake Mead's elevation is currently at 1,065 feet, which is 163 feet below full pool and sitting at 35% of capacity. Since reaching its high for the current water year, the lake has dropped three feet. Whether this decline continues will largely depend on future water releases from Lake Powell. If inflows don't pick up and Powell holds back more water, Mead's levels could continue dropping through the spring and summer. Upstream at Lake Powell, water levels are currently at 3,559 feet, or 140 feet below full pool, with the reservoir at 32% full. Powell is at its lowest point of the current water year, and it's expected to continue declining for another month until spring runoff begins. The timing and strength of that runoff will be closely tied to snowpack conditions in the upper Colorado River Basin, which have seen some recent setbacks. Moving north to the Great Salt Lake, there's more positive news. The south arm is currently at 4,193.5 feet, and the north arm sits at 4,192.6 feet. Both arms have been steadily rising since December, thanks to a stretch of active weather and above-average precipitation. With runoff season approaching and solid snowpack numbers in the region, the lake is in a much better place than it was this time last year. Now let's take a look at the drought conditions across the western U.S. Much of the southwest remains in moderate to extreme drought, with the region around Lake Mead and southwestern Arizona still in exceptional drought, the most severe level. Most of Utah remains abnormally dry or in moderate drought, while northern California, Oregon, Idaho, and Colorado are largely drought-free. Washington has developed an area of moderate drought, but recent precipitation should help bring conditions closer to normal in the coming weeks. Turning to snowpack, which will play a critical role in determining how much water flows into these reservoirs in the months ahead. The Upper Colorado River Basin snowpack, which feeds Lake Powell and eventually Lake Mead, is currently at 91% of the historical average for this time of year. Just over a week ago, it was at 97% but record-setting warmth in late March caused rapid melting. The lower Colorado River snowpack is faring worse, sitting at just 61% of normal, which likely means reduced runoff from that region. The Great Salt Lake Basin snowpack, however, is in better shape at 107% of average, which bodes well for continued gains in lake levels. In summary, Lake Mead and Lake Powell remain at critically low levels, and much will depend on how the snowpack holds up and how much of it converts into actual runoff. The Great Salt Lake continues to improve, and while drought persists across much of the southwest, recent storms and continued precipitation in the northwest are helping some areas move in the right direction. That's it for this Water Watch update. If you found this helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss future updates on reservoir levels, snowpack, and drought across the West. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.